good evening good afternoon good morning to everyone who is watching pms english right now my dear friends so this particular uh, series of episodes spiritual glossary is going really great because we are bringing pms english is bringing to you great words with deeper meanings and deeper references and deeper significances my dear friends so we are all very happy very glad that we are able to do this so that we all understand together about words about the energies that we, these words are bringing and how to use these words when to use these words where to use these words with whom should we use these words so that we can become more and more conscious and more aware of these words my dear friends words are energy patri ji always used to say that words are energy use it wisely so my dear friends my name is paranita patri and i am here to bring to you yet another wonderful episode of spiritual glossary my dear friends i welcome you all to pmc english and today's word my dear friends is kundalini we always use this word we listen to this word we hear this word from so many people so many masters that the kundalini is this kundalini is that then what is kundalini we could talk about kundalini the chakras and this and that so what is kundalini is what we are going to understand today my dear friends i'm sure everyone is really interested to know about it so let's not delay it let's understand the word called kundalini there is a center at the base of the spine which contains tremendous fiery power it controls the thermostat of the body and sustains the body's organs actually it has a triple fire one fire controls the heat another is the cooling system and the third is the link between matter and spirit this fire slowly climbs the etheric spine as a result of the expansion of consciousness and of living a clean harmless and sacrificial life it also ascends because of our spiritual aspiration and practical service as it ascends it dissolves the etheric web that divides the centers on the spine stimulating them into greater rhythmic and harmonious activity the energy thus flowing into the centers creates no complications because of the purification process through which each center has passed as the result of spiritual discipline meditation and sacrificial living my dear friends thus from one center to another the fire of kundalini climbs bringing forth greater blooming and radioactivity in the centers these centers in turn bring greater energies into the system from their corresponding higher centers and planes at last the fire reaches the highest head center and fuses with that center and at this stage a man is in full illumination he is the serpent of wisdom as the egyptian hierophants were symbolically known so my dear friends that is what kundalini is all about and this particular term has been excerpted from one book which is called as the psyche and psychism and i really really recommend everyone to read this book psyche and psychism written by torkum sedater and my dear friends you will be blown away with the kind of wisdom that is there in these two books the psyche and psychism my dear friends so my dear friends that is for today that is the word for today's episode of spiritual glossary my dear friends the word was kundalini so if you do not understand please listen to this again and again so that we really understand the deeper meaning of this word called kundalini So thank you so much my dear friends for watching PMC English and take care of yourself namaste my dear friends